focus more on planting seeds than you do on the harvest. So that's cause and effect. Activity will lead to productivity. Hey, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. I'm in Houston, Texas, just getting ready for a luncheon session with First Trust Portfolios. I'm in a beautiful uh, private room inspired by the backdrop of uh, wonderful wine from around the world. And uh, I'll just mention, with respect to First Trust, um, as you might know, I co-wrote the advisor playbook with Chris Jepson, who is the head of practice management. And we're currently working on the Blue Square Method. And if you don't already know this, you're not gonna find a bigger advocate for the financial professional in anywhere in this industry than First Trust. So uh, reach out to your wholesaler, get a copy of the advisor playbook. If you're not receiving the Monday morning outlook, uh, created by Brian Westbury and the team. Highly recommend that as well. But uh, looking forward to this luncheon session. And I, I thought I'd just check in with you because I just literally got off the call with a client who was heading into a meeting with a client that took action uh, in a way that um, kind of startled the advisor. Okay, so every episode of adversity uh, or friction can serve you, not hurt you, if you invest it into the future and be really intentional and conscious about it. So here's what happened. Their client um, did a pretty modest rollover onto a AI digital platform and my client said, you know, I don't know why they did that. And I said, it's okay. Give them the benefit of the doubt. But you've got to re re uh, remind them of how you have defined the rules of engagement and use this as a proof of concept going forward to get ahead of the commoditization that's occurring in this industry and, and turn this and everything else into an intellectual property. So anyway, what he's going to say to the client is, uh, they're gonna have their traditional strategy and tactical meeting, and toward the end, he's going to say, hey, I wanted to take a moment to just let you know that we've engaged a consulting firm for the purposes of elevating the client experience, and we're making some adjustments and elevating how we conduct ourselves. Uh, and I wanted to remind you uh, about our process. And he's gonna walk through the seven pillars and start to reframe the relationship and get the client to buy into the overarching process. And not just what it is, but what it does. And among other things, what it does is positions the advisor as the client's personal CFO, right? Complete family office, which means they're not buying something, they're buying into something. And that that decision they made was outside of the process. And just see where that lands. Like just reframe and remind and sort of rejuvenate the relationship and, and give the client the benefit of the doubt because the decision might not have been a conscious one. It was just sort of a default. Maybe they felt that this modest decision was beyond the advisor's um, purview or, or areas of fulfillment and execution, and they thought nothing of it. Or maybe it was a cost decision, and this could be the beginning of the end, and maybe this client is not a good fit long term. But either way, it's going to be revealing. It will reveal where the client of our advisor will say, you know, it never occurred to me that I should contact you and I'm glad you've reminded me about your role in the process or it might reveal something else and I want our client to be at peace with that outcome. But again, either way, it's got to serve you, not hurt you. But sometimes relationships drift and they stray and a lot of that is nudged off course by the noise of the world and the fluid and dynamic nature of financial planning and your value but these are moments of truth that can be defining. You know, there have been many advisors who have used moments like this to disassociate from a client 
or reassign the client to somebody else on the bench, or just to rejuvenate the relationship. Either way, it's an opportunity to start new, effectively almost re-onboard the client, refresh them with awareness for your value around your people, your practice, and your process, and just see where it goes. Robert Louis Stevenson said, focus more on planting seeds than you do on the harvest. So that's cause and effect. Activity will lead to productivity. There are certain things out of your control. What can you control? It's your people, your practice, your process. And make sure your clients don't stray too far away from that. Okay? So I thought I'd just share with that uh, with you because it's fresh. But I appreciate you watching. Uh, until next time, this is Duncan McPherson with Pareto Systems. Cheers. Cheers.